Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and the next topic we'll be covering are triggers and actions. Triggers and actions are two fundamental components of the Power Platform. Once you have established a data source and configured your connector, there are two types of operations you can use, triggers or actions. Triggers initiate workflows when certain conditions are met. For example, a trigger can be set up to automatically start a workflow when a new item is added to a SharePoint list or when a new email arrives in a specific mailbox. Triggers can be set up in Power Automate, formerly known as Microsoft Flow and Power Apps. Actions are prompted by the user or a trigger and allow interaction with your data source through a specific function. Actions are used in Power Automate and Power Apps. Actions can be anything from sending an email or creating a new record in a database to posting a message in a chat application. In Power Automate and Power Apps, users can create custom actions by building flows, which are workflows that automate repetitive tasks. Together, triggers and actions allow users to create custom workflows that automate processes and improve productivity. By connecting various services and applications, users can streamline workflows, reduce errors, and save time. Power Platform provides a wide range of connectors and templates that can be used to create these workflows, and users can also create custom connectors and actions to suit their specific needs.